Did he just make a joke about shoving a banana up his butt? Dating Everyward in the Dictionary. Yes, Everyward in the Dictionary. Okie dokie. So, uh, do you have anything funny? Nah. All Maybe right, it's episode 27. <laughs> uh, remember when we used to like sit around for like five minutes waiting for one of us to come up with a funny intro? Eh, I don't care. I don't care anymore. Me neither. All right, so I uh, left off on Aesir. So we're going to start on Aesir Age. Aesir Age? Aesir Age? Uh, it's a process coating the surface of a metal plate as stereotype plate with a thin layer of iron by electrolysis, the iron becoming hard like steel. This is when as you opposed get, to hard like iron. This is when you get in a murderous rampage after eating um, Asiago cheese. That's a type of cheese, right? It, it is. And we're going to ignore the fact that it's spelled A S I O. I'm going to admit that I'm not looking at your screen right now. Ah. Uh, for reasons that I will that disclose at a later corny. date. Ooh. Or never. All I'm right. Doing things on the computer other than what you're doing. Oh, wait. I can't work on that day. Dang it. I hate December. Anyway, what are we doing? Uh, we're rating words in the dictionary. We're oh, on the 27th yeah. episode. Sorry, I hey, was uh, I was making my schedule for the 27th month of oh. the year. Perfect. It's the Jewish calendar. Um, anyway, so AC Rage is going to get uh, uh, five irons neat, I guess. As a form, as a as a cooler something see this uh, sucks because i'm not looking at it so i can't tell you how it's supposed to be pronounced so i'm just going to take your word for it and be like yeah sure that sounds that sounds good well i'm pretty sure i got that one right but uh, it's going to get know. a three a silly eight maybe you did maybe you didn't and this one is without cilia um three acciliated same thing three L a sin a shis Asinacious. Asinacious. Uh, all right, hold on. Let me botany. Look at it. Let me let me look at that one. I do like botany. Yep, you got this it right. Asinacious. Hell yeah, brother. Uh, this one is containing seeds or kernels. Oh, uh, so this is another word for poop. It could be because of the uh, the corn. Corn. Uh, yeah. Or if you shove full peanuts in there. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do it. Yeah. Those are uh, those are legumes. I was just about legumes. to say legume, a legume. It just uh, sounds cool. a great word. It does. Uh, Asinaceous. Gonna give it a six. I like it. Cinesiform. Uh, a cinesiform. Uh huh. Uh, shaped like a scimitar, used uh -huh. of a leaf. Uh -huh. uh, has to do with botany again. Botany's neat. Uh huh. So five. Asinar. Asinar. Uh huh. Uh, of relating to. Or comprising <laughs> and a sinus. Uh huh. Huh. Is that, CI, wait, it looks I don't like, know. Is that funny? It, if you take out the CI, it spells anus. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's hilarious. Uh, yeah. Um, gonna give it a six. Asinarius. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Covered as in, as of certain algae with globose ves, 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 vesicles like grape seeds. <laughs> oh, I don't like how any of that came together. Yeah, that whole sentence was just <laughs> uncomfortable to read. Um, so I'm going to give it a two. A sonetta. A taxonomic synonym of sectoria. <laughs> That's the whore capital of the world. Yeah. So what, um, it's, uh, yeah joke <laughs> thanks uh listen uh, i'm gonna thing. i'm going to at some point soon meet up with you trust me thank Just you let me kind of hang back here in the back for a minute until i get there it was his idea to start recording now <laughs> <laughs> so those I'm, two on, are get... I'm getting there don't Sorry. worry it's uh i'm making progress this word gets a, i don't know give it a six it's ace for the 900th time so i'm gonna give it a two. Oh, okay Asini. Asini. Any of the small sacks 
terminating the, <laughs> I get the to nine. Sack. I don't care. Is it spelled Some... S-A... See, I can't see it. How do they spell sack? S-A-C-S. <laughs> yeah, I get to nine. <laughs> terminating the ducts of some exocrine glands lined with secret, uh, secretor, sec, yeah, secretory. Yeah, it's secreting. the 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 cell the cell secretaries. That's what they do. They yeah, sit it's... there in their little cell offices. Uh, Punchline. Uh, yeah, just insert joke here. Ha <laughs> ha! Funny. God, we're good at comedy. Um, so that was going to be a th- th- four. Uh, this one's going to be yeah, work uh, shaped like a yeah. cluster of grapes, clustered like grapes, full of small kernels, like a grape. Uh, okay. S in a form is going to oh, get Oh, a... like a bunch of grapes. I get it. Yeah. Okay, sure. Give it so a four. No, wait. I said eight, right? Or nine. I don't remember. Whatever I said the first time. We'll uh, we'll go back and post and then dub it in. Uh-huh. S in onyx. Yeah. A genus of cats comprising the cheetahs, which are distinguished by the absence of cutaneous sheaths from for guarding the claws. Okay. Uh, Asinotic sounds cool. Cheetahs are super neato, so I'm going to give that an eight. Asinotubular. For me. Of or relating to a gland or other structure made up of tubular acini. Uh, cool. Globulons. Four. What? Yeah. Asinius. Asinous. Uh, it's. Sinus again, sacs, six. Sinus again, sacs, six. Acipenser. A genus of ganoid fishes that includes most sturgeons. Ganoid. Uh, yep, got to look up a ganoid fishes. Fishes. Oh, it's a fish that are shaped like fish. Oh, never mind. What is that one? Wait, 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 hold on. Yeah. I want to see him. I want to see him. Got a big old uh, dumb beak. Did you say this was a type of fish? Yeah, it's a ganoid fish. Oh, oh, look at that. It's a, uh, it's a remoraid. Oh, like the pocket monster. Uh-huh. What, yeah. uh, what, what fit, fits in your pocket? A, mon- a monster? Uh-huh. Were you complimenting me? N- uh, No. Oh, man. All right, fair enough. Uh, Aspenser is going to get a six, though. Aspenser's. Aspenser's? uh, Sort of. Huh. Yeah, so I'm going to give that a uh, something about a chondrostry. Chondrostry. Let's see. This on the 10th, and we'll do that at four. So I'll give that one a. Yeah, I'll give it a four. Uh, Aspenserid. It's the, the weird fish again. So huh? Weird five. fish. Acipenserine. Uh, weird fish. Four. Acipenseroid. Uh, uh, I, con- now, any word that has the, the, the roid is is automatic eight. Yeah. It's like roid. Steroids are neat. Man, I like steroids. Like uh, They make sports way more fun to watch. Maybe. I don't know. They make your wiener small, though. No, they make your balls small. Your wiener stays the same, so actually, they make it look... You Is know, that really how it works? Yeah. It makes your... Uh, well, HGH makes your head bigger, but yeah. They... Uh, steroids make your uh, your dingles... Or the, the berries smaller, the dingle stays the same. Huh. Yeah. Like, like how much smaller? Like, comically smaller? I mean, enough that people noticed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's funny. Uh, let me see. Let's do that on the 16th. So uh, the Roid one, yeah, it'll give it a seven and a half. Like... S-a-pen... Now we'll do that at four. Four o'clock on the... Something taxonomic, going to give it a one. Ack. Ooh, you like this one. Uh, hold on, let me see. Don't tell me what it is. Oh, it's just the word act. Okay. okay. Oh, yeah. Act. Be used to express mild alarm or dismay. This is what, uh, this is what the Martians from uh, Mars Attacks say. Like, that's their language. Act. Is that act. the one with the, act. like, the people with the big old brains? Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the Martians. I to, I... Yeah. They're defeated by playing Hawaiian music. It's, uh, <laughs> oh my God. it's a classic. Yeah. 
nineties. Uh, <laughs> uh, so Ack is going to get a. Five. I think Mars Attacks goes back further than that. I think it was a comic book before that. Uh, let me well, see. Let me it was a 1996 up. film. That's what I know it from. I know. Yeah, I know. It was a movie in the nineties. But before that, I think it was something else. It was. Uh, 19. It was a science fiction themed trading card series released in 1962. God dang, I didn't know it went back that far. Yeah. And then uh, began developing merchandise in the 80s, began uh, developing merchandise based on the Mars Attack storyline, including mini comic huh. books and card reprints. Ah, cool. Neat. Didn't know. And then there was the movie. The movie's pretty good. The movie is fantastic. Uh, so Ack's going to get a seven. Ack, Does Ack. Skeletor say Ack? Does he say Ack? Eh. No, he just goes meh. Okay. Yeah, it's more eh. Mm. Um, Still fun, though. God dang, I don't want to work all these days, people. I like money, but I don't like it that much. Shit. Just uh, don't. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah. No, you're right. I could just yeah. not go to work. Exactly. Huh. There's always options. I never thought of it um, that way. Akak -Ak is an anti-aircraft gun. Did not know that. Would have never guessed that. So I'm going to get cool. eight. Yeah. Aki. Isn't that also uh, the thing in Star Wars that walks around and... and no, that's, that's an at-at. Sh at. Shoots the little fuzzy guys um, uh, right in their stupid a, fuzzy faces. That's an at-at. A-T dash uh, A-T. This one was A-C-K. -A actually, isn't it? Because I, I knew that. I was just being stupid. But isn't it... Oh. Isn't it pronounced ATAT? -A -T? Isn't people that say at at beaten with sticks at conventions? Well, let's hope so. Let's see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google that. I'm done with the thing I was doing. Perfect. Um, We're I'm on a key now. I'm still gonna be a little. I'm gonna be a little. Uh, Spacey. I'm not totally. I lied when I said I was going to be fully engaged. Um, I figured. Okay, how to pronounce A-T, A-T. All right, well, you're looking at that. The Aki is the fruit of an African tree of the soapberry family grown in the Caribbean area, Florida, and Hawaii. Um, I don't understand how it's an African tree grown in the Caribbean, Florida, and Hawaii. Um, but okay, for its white or yellowish fleshy arrow that is edible when ripe, but is poisonous when immature or overripe. I don't know why you would take that chance has this small window where it's edible, but it's either it's poisonous both before and after. It has a toxic pink raffi attaching the arrow to the seed. Also, the tree. Uh, neat. Sounds uh, dangerous and or exotic, so I'll give it a five. Did you figure it out? Uh, I'm from the canon, pure walker. So, Canon says AT AT, but some people are Argue. still saying, "Well, fuck Canon." I'm going to say it the way I want to say it, but it's so it is AT AT. According to some of the canon, but then some people are other ones say, "I've heard fans from the time say AT AT." Who says it would at at? Blah 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 blah. blah. Da, 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 da. Uh... Okay, so Lucasfilm, Lucasfilm yeah. says it's mm -hmm. at at, but then Lucasfilm turns around and has properties where it said at at. So no one knows. Okay, so just but, say whatever you want. It's fine. Yeah. All right, uh, Ak Emma. It is British for before noon. I hate all of that. And I'm yeah, giving it a one. Fucking horrible. Who? What? Yeah, it's real bad. Bef B for noon, three syllables. Ack, Emma, three syllables. You're not saving any time and you sound stupid, so don't do it. Well, it sounds sound stupid no matter what. So I don't really well, yeah. This is now dialectical. England, a ripple or a patch of ruffled water. Um, just call it a ripple and yeah, just call give it a ripple. Acker a one. Just, just Ackers. Call it what our forefathers called it, and it's wavy water. Yeah, wavy water. Uh -huh. uh, so one, Ackers, one, Acky. What with, the water, silver... with the water, what, with the water, with the waves in it and stuff. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Naki is a silver coin struck in England in 1796 and 1818 for use on the Gold Coast in Western Africa. A unit of value equivalent to one Aki. I wonder what they were buying in Africa <laughs> on the Gold Coast at that point. I don't know. There's really no way to tell. 
Yeah. Well, some mysteries can be solved another day. Going to give it a five. Act they didn't. Five. They didn't yes. really keep records of things that were purchased around that area or that time. Yeah, um, I wonder why. It's almost like they knew it was probably bad. You guys don't think we should, we probably shouldn't be doing this? Should people are going to remember us poorly? That's fine. We'll blame it on the Dutch. Um, all right. I don't know how to pronounce this one. Act Act That is gross. That is not but an abbreviation. You know, when you're selling things, when you're selling things that don't matter, you know, you don't really keep a record of it anyway. Um, <laughs> you know, if I get rid of some old junk at a garage sale, I'm not going to keep a ledger around. You know, it says I sold I, one lampshade to the Johnsons down the road. You know, it's just it's it's junk you don't want anymore. Why would you? Why would you keep a record of that just laying around? We'll never know what they were doing. Um, yeah, so akgata is acknowledgement. Um, I'm giving that no akgata. And I'm giving this a one for being just guttural and gross God, to look I'm at and say. So close to my root beer, but it's still so far away. Root beer? I just I need I need to get it. You keep talking. I'm gonna figure out a way to get the root beer without getting out of this chair. Okay, sounds good. Um, so we're going with Acne now. Oh my god, your chair makes the most noise imaginable. Acne is to confess knowledge of. Uh, obsolete. Should stay obsolete. I hate it. I'm going to give it a two. going to give it a two. going to give it a two. Acknowledgeable. Ah. Damn it. Do I have a stick? This base. You Keep going. You're fine. Are legs. You're fine. You're fine. Well, they didn't reach far enough, so now I got to do this. Just keep the right side, I found okay. where uh, where acknowledge came from came from Acno, um, is to recognize the rights, authority, or status of. Ah. They acknowledge him as their leader. That's going to be a three, four and a half acknowledgeable, four and a half acknowledged, five acknowledgingly, acknowledgedly. Don't like that. Two. Next row. Acknowledgement. Three. Acknowledging. Two. Acknowledgement. Four. Acknown. Hey, same thing. Past participle of Acno. Two, Acknown, just did that, Acknose, three. Oh, God, could you open that any closer to the mic? The silky, smooth thump of the bass comes in handy once again. Perfect. Oh. What, uh, what, what brand of root beer is your brand of choice? a and W. All right, cool. Good for you. ACL, this is a ligament. Bark is cruciate. for homosexuals. What about uh, mugs? Or mug mug mug's pretty good too yeah okay do you like the cream soda yeah yeah it's good mm. it's super sweet but yeah, yeah. Our acl gonna get a i like five. to i five i like to add a little bit of orange fanta to it and make a uh cream sickle. white trash smoothie <laughs> <laughs> um acel ackle uh ackle ackle okay it's a tall Asian tree, the very heavy, hard, durable wood of the ackle, or a Philippine timber tree used for cabinet work and furniture. Ah, uh, yes, the ladyboy tree. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll give ackle a four. A cledian, having no clavicles. Do we have clavicles? Isn't that shoulder something? I don't know. Shoulder blade? Or sh uh, collarbone. Yeah, that's what I meant. Clavicle. So... So if you if you don't animals? if you don't have a clavicle you're an acladidian a acladidian I guess so yeah uh, so I guess I'll give that a two or something and then this the same thing to a clinal mm. having no inclination Acladidian and horizontal uh, so it's flat so three oh Clinical okay line so, is a horizontal uh, line yes are there people born without clavicles or is that like a no but uh rabbits are huh. i think interesting i think that's what this says well do rabbits have collarbones uh they have complete uh-oh true hairs have complete clavicles in the rabbit oh. no trace of the clavicle is visible at birth uh-huh all right, and now we'll look at, do rabbis have collarbones? <laughs> uh, they do. 
They sold them to the devil. <laughs> a clinic line. Um, it's an imaginary line on the Earth's surface, roughly parallel to the geographical equator, and passing through those points where a magnetic needle, if suspended freely, has no dip or inclination and assumes a horizontal position. Fascinating, too. A clip round the ear. A hit on the ear. She gave him a clip round the ear. Don't like it. Yeah, it's stupid. Gets a two. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a <clears throat> two as well. A closed book. Person or thing that is difficult to understand, even to his closest friends. He was always considered something of a closed book. Uh, cool. Two. That's also more stupid. It's more useful than the other ones. I'll give it a three. ACLs. Uh, advanced cardiac life support. Or ACLs. ACLS. There we go. Jeez. Uh, no, life support's neat. So four. Oh, boy. Uh, next one's ACLU. Oh, oh, hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> I, knew, I knew you'd appreciate this one. I'm just going to... Actually, Let's you know what? Headphones These... down for about five minutes. No, and it's let fine. You I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, these guys. I mean, they suck supreme ass, but they're also okay because they've they've done some shit that go that they've done some cool shit. They've done a lot of stupid shit, but they've also done some cool shit. Well, that's um, partially cool and partially they've, not. They've sued for the rights of people that they don't necessarily agree with too. So they are an equal opportunity. Um, lawsuit filer. Oh, okay, cool. Um, give them a fuck, they'll five. sue anybody. It's a bunch of Jews. They'll sue whoever they fucking want. <laughs> there, there it is. There it is. <laughs> you held out as long as you could, and I'm proud of you. That's started, that's gross. I started sweating. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we have Acme. Uh, Acme. E, Acme E, capitalize a cosmopolitan genus comprising small conical, usually dark colored limpets. Ah, uh, sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, all my all my homies have dark colored limpets. Uh, I'm going to give that a, one a four, a I guess. Five. five. <laughs> um, Acme A D or something, a family of gastropod mollusks. Oh, that's the name in... of the lead monkey in uh, re, re, um, Planet of the Apes. I was trying to think of a famous movie recently. I was going to make a joke, but never mind. Well, you hit that one out of the park. Uh, these limpets have... <laughs> Dia's family Christmas. Oh, no. No, that's that's the name of the uh, of the, the, lead, the lead ape from Planet of the Apes. <laughs> you know? Akmadia, Akmadia, boop, 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 boop. Akmadia, Akmadia, boop, 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 boop. That guy, yeah. Oh, Akmadia, Akmadia, Akmadia. Oh, okay, okay. I thought you were going a different, much worse direction with that. No, I started to, but then I, I didn't. I didn't. You are showing a lot of growth today. That was going to be for Akmatic. Akmatic of or relating to the Acme or an Acme. Uh, uh, two, five. Acme, the highest point or stage. Also, uh, something or someone that represents perfection to the thing expressed. They're not going to give uh, one shout out to Looney Tunes. Like what a yeah, bunch of yeah. cocksuckers, Merriam Webster. Well, they still have. Uh, yeah, probably not going to give any sort of props to Looney Tunes or bricks. Um. So for now, it's going to be a one, unless something changes. A harrow having curved, stiff blades attached to a transverse horizontal frame and projecting rearward that crush the clods in front and Rains. stir the surface soil in the rear. <laughs> I don't know what any of that meant or what it's talking about, but it's getting a six. A lot of weird words in there. <clears throat> um, acmeism. Uh, this is when you run off a cliff and then just kind of stand there for a bit and then fall. Yeah. And then a literary movement among Russian poets in the early 20th century that was characterized by reaction against the vagueness of symbol symbolism and by an emphasis on clarity. Mm. This is when uh, writers would actually just say what they were trying to say. Yeah. I like that. So I'll give Acmeism a seven. Acmeist. Yeah. 
Uh, same thing. Gonna give it a six. 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 Acme thread. An American screw thread having a section that is a mean between the V threads and square threads. I don't. <sighs> eh. I don't know what it means. This is stupid. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it a four. Two. I'm gonna give it a two. <laughs> Acme. Over. Acme. Cool. One. Acmite. Mineral this is of brown. Uh, mm-hmm. this is when you go to um, the synagogue uh, with a uh, brick, and yeah. it, uh, it it was there for a second. Now it's gone. I'm sorry. It's also a mineral consisting of brown or green silicate of sodium and iron, belonging to the pyroxene group, and often found in long prismatic crystals characterized, characteristically pointed. Hardness, 6 to 6.5. I'll show you a 6 to 6.5 hardness. I, I, did, I was already in the process of yawning, I swear. That, that I, didn't, <laughs> I didn't do that on purpose. I'm going to give that one a 6 to 6.5. Uh, yeah, that's um, funny. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> Uh, Come on, at all. Uh, the stainless steel alloy used especially for low denomination coins, especially uh, in Italy and Albania. Oh, yeah, okay. It's what the Albanian uh, pocket money's made out of. Uh, yeah, it's an Albanian penny or something. Let me see what Three. it looks like. Oh, yeah. Here, I'll, I'll do it on here. So, so the, uh, the. Does it react? Is it one of those uh, metals that when it, it reacts to air by exploding? Uh. Did I spell it wrong? Probably. I did. Heck, monotone. I'm looking at it right now. Why can't I look at images? Where Where are the images? Oh, there they are. It just looks like a quarter. Looks like what they make quarters out of. Oh. Hey, um, wait a minute. I have I'm... one of these coins somewhere. Are you an Italian or Albanian? No, I do have some Italian money. I forgot. No. Oh, it looks just that's like more this. more money than most Italians have. I know. They they really got it rough. But, you know, that's what yeah, they get for Greek. being, uh, you know, pasta people. Everybody's a pasta person. Live by the noodle, die by the noodle. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Italian money will get a two, three, acne. Yeah, gross. <laughs> Uh, use bathe. That's all you have to do to not have this disorder of the skin caused by inflammation of the skin glands and air follicles. <laughs> that's pretty funny. A, uh, that's give good. Them a one. That's good. Acne. Uh, one uh, acne rosacea. A good joke you did there. <laughs> Thank Look you. at you. Look at you doing I'm stuff up in the world. Uh, let's see. Uh, acne rosacea. Rosacea. The second type is. Never mind, I'm not going to read that sentence. Not because there was a word that I got intimidated by, just because I got bored with it. Uh, but it's going to get a one for being gross again. Acid- Is this an echidna? Hey! Oh, wait, no, that's spelled with an E. I thought this was going to be the, uh, the, the, uh, the, the, the Knuckles, the hedgehog-looking guy. But he's not a hedgehog. Oh, oh. He's an no, echidna. This is a genus of American herbs Ech- having Ech- entire leaves, Echnida. greenish spigot flowers, Echnida. and small utricles. Echnida. It's a cool Echnida. word. I'll give it a five. Yeah. Not as cool as echidna, but whatever. What is on my microphone? Yeah. <gasps> it definitely cut out. You thought it was going to make a super loud noise, but it just... No, 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 no. I know, because this is a good microphone. It has really nice... Um, that word for the thing that keeps the stuff from Boobies. being loud. Oh. It was a skin flake. Skin Ew. from my skinular regions that. got on the microphone. All right, uh, Acnida's getting a two. Acnidaria. Taxonomic 0. 0.5. Oh boy. Acnidosporidia. What? Nidosporidia. Of sporozoa. Uh-huh. Rising a number of forms of questionable relationship, including the orders that and that, uh-huh. all having simple spores formed in a manner unlike that other that. Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. Shit. Three. Three. A cosma. <laughs> a definition of a cosma. A cosma. Okay. God, nice. The dictionary is a dumb, dumb place. <laughs> it's the, it's the ads you keep getting. <laughs> yeah, it's because you keep telling me about cards to get. And then I 
and look him up on here. It's like, oh, he, he wants to know about cars. I'm like, no, I'm just, I'm just appeasing a friend. You don't have to sell me these. Some of the cards are neato. Uh, these are getting threes. A Cosmata. It's just the same thing again. Three. <laughs> Do you want to read the next two? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, Miriam, you redeemed yourself there. <laughs> uh. All right. Well, we have another uh, another ten out of ten. This is 10 out of 10 for sure. And the next one uh, looks like it's going to be a 10 as well. Uh, oh, it has to do with ships too. Oh boy. Neat that is the perfect word. All right. So a cockbill in play is of an anchor in place at the cat head or bow and ready to be dropped of a ship's yard in a tipped up position at an oh. angle to the deck. Uh, type in a cock bill and see how many wieners I get. Yeah, you should do it with spaces. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are both tens. A coal. Oh, it's just Ism. the it's it's just the chainy thing on the anchor mabob. Yeah. Oh. All very nautical words you use there. Um, a coal <laughs> is a marine flatworm. Oh, that's the, cool. Yeah, Flatworms are neat. Yeah, and parasites. <clears throat> a uh, lot of times. Let me see. Let me look at this wormy guy. See what he looks like. Oh, wow. Look at him. He is flat. Yeah, he's a flatworm. Huh. I thought that was just flavor worm. text. He's really flat. Like, extremely flat. Yeah. He's an A cup at best. Do, 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 do. Hey, look at these flatworms. Hey, these are guys are cool looking. That one's not. He's squishy. That one's colorful, though. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, flatworm, we get a six. Aquella. Oh, that's cool. An order or other division of Turbularia that is sometimes regarded as an order of the mm -hmm, and uh -huh, yeah, sure. marine flatworms that lack a digestive cavity. <laughs> um, indefinite walls that receive food in a porous mass of endodermal tissue uh so they don't eat or poop they just kind of exist yeah they just outside receive of the their porous mass <laughs> uh, it's like uh most people that end up at arby's at midnight <laughs> so it's you telling jokes <laughs> hey oh, finally yeah. hitting. <clears throat> uh oh i skipped one no Coelomate. A, co a colomate. An invertebrate lacking a coelum. Uh, especially one belonging to the group comprising the flatworms and nermatines. <laughs> nermatines. And characterized by bilateral symmetry in a digestive cavity that is, that is the only internal cavity. Uh. It's the only internal cavity you need. Eh. Or eh. something. Uh -huh. Um... <laughs> Uh, so six for that one, Columbus. Uh, whatever. Two, Coleus. Lacking a true stomach or digestive tract, lacking a true body cavity. Uh, weird, but kind of goes with the ones we've just been doing. So four, a comate. Monks of large fifth century and sixth century Eastern monasteries who were noted especially for their choral singing. Uh, or recitation of the divine office in constant and never interrupted relays. Ah, okay. Sure. Good for them. Uh, good Sounds teamwork, good. I guess. Always important. So I'll give them a uh, six. Uh, Aconis. Uh, Aconistesia? Aconistesia. Loss of awareness of one's own bodily parts or organs. Absence of coanesthesia. Uh, sounds unfortunate. So I'll give it a four. A coca. This is... Is this going to be more uh, worms? Kangle? No. Well, in a way. <clears throat> ah, boy. Wait, is, is there something funny? Let me look. Hold on. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. It's king of India. Yeah. He died in either 238 or 232 BC, not in between. <laughs> what, is, what is going on in that ad? <laughs> Which one? <laughs> he's got his hand oh, in the he's toilet. Adjusting his, he's adjusting his bidet. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder if it's because I clicked on the bidet ad that one time it popped up. <laughs> oh, so this guy led a weird life. Uh he either was the king of India from 265 to 238 uh, BC uh -huh. or 273 to 232. So it was either it was plus or minus eight years and plus or minus six years. He had an interesting run. Ahsoka. Uh, cool name, though. Give him a five, uh, four. <laughs> a cola pissa. <laughs> when you drink too much Coca-Cola and you uh, have to pee a lot. <laughs> yeah. cool. It's an extinct Muskegon people of Louisiana and Mississippi. Remember the Ecolapissa people. Uh, pretty sure there's still people in Louisiana and Mississippi, so I don't think they're extinct. So give them a, give them a four. Ecolapissa, it's when there's multiple extinct people. So give them a four as well. A cold. <clears throat> Archaic, cold, chilled the owl for all his feathers was a cold, said John Keats. Are you a big John Keats fan? He's pretty cool. All right, that's fine. <laughs> uh, but a cold is uh, interesting and it's going to get a uh, five. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, a cohua. Uh, Nahuto people of Mexico allied with the Aztec and Tlacopan. A member of the alcohol hua people uh i don't know they're really good at soccer so i'll give them a six and we have who and, and who is six and five and Sounded just like grandpa simpson that was, <laughs> that, was, that was really weird i could not do that throat noise again if i <laughs> tried so that would just have to live on in infamy this is a variant of a choli, which means nothing to me. And I give it a two, two, a coluthic. Following immediately as a visual afterimage upon the primary activity aroused by, oh, aroused by a stimulus. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Three, yeah. acolyte. Uh -huh. One who assists a member of the clergy in liturgical. I can't tell if I like that word or not. It was both gross and neat. Uh, service by performing minor duties. One who attends or assists a leader, follower, the mayor dined with a few of his acolytes. Uh, don't know why a mayor has acolytes, but I'll give it a five. Acolythate. Acolythate. The office or state of an acolyte. Neat. Uh, four if I didn't grade the last one. Two. Acolythist. Archaic acolyte. Three. A coma. Pueblo of the Acoma people situated on a rock mesa with deep sides west of Albuquerque and west central New Mexico. <laughs> well, Acoma Pueblo is thought to be the oldest continuously inhabited place in the U.S. I think I learned about that in uh, some class about something. History or social studies. No, I think it was... Uh... Biology. I think it was. Um, Did you participate in PE when you were in school? Yes. That's good. <laughs> I couldn't tell if you would be the person that was like super into dodgeball or if you were like, yeah, they can play. I'll, I'll be here on the side reading my books. <laughs> no, we were, we were forced to. Like you didn't really have. Oh my God. You didn't really like have the option. <laughs> I think there were too uh, many fat kids like in the school, so they had to. No way, not in this state. <laughs> uh, people are. We gross. just skip to uh, acquaintance rape. Like, just skip all of these words and just go over to acquaintance oh rape. My God. Oh no, we have to build up to that one. Oh goddamn! You it. can't force me into that. 
Get it? 